it possible to eventually heal everything? And the answer is yes. This is Serge Benhayen, the leader of Universal Medicine, a controversial group selling unproven healing treatments to desperate people. Have you ever said that you're the reincarnation of Leonardo da Vinci? Yes, I did. Serge claims he's the chosen one of God, the latest in a long line of great thinkers. All of the great figures, people like Zoroaster, Plato, Buddha, Jesus, are all sort of crystallised in the Serge ben Hayen. I'll just go ahead and talk about some of his mad ideas, if you like. OK, look, um, Serge believes that he can heal any sickness. Well, there is a science to it. It's just not a conventional science. Fundamentally, he denies completely that there could be germs that could cause disease, genetic factors that could cause disease, environmental factors that cause disease. Universal Medicine suggests that their leader, Serge Van Hayen, is the most knowledgeable person that has ever existed, that he knows everything about everything, can answer any questions about any mysteries in the world and indeed the universe. Under a cultist Astrology, you could say, Serge, I've been stuck in Gemini for 400 years. That would be superbly scientific. I'd seen Serge on various news broadcasts. He has no medical qualifications at all. Touting unproven treatments. I thought, oh, he's an interesting character. And he believes that he holds the salvation of the world. When you go into evolutionary energy, you realise the world's not human anymore. That's when you see spirits. One of Serge's core beliefs is that evil spirits are leading humanity astray. That spirit has been exposed. Serge claims that he is both man and woman, a being who was moved beyond gender because his soul has been reincarnated more than 2,000 times. I um, orgasm like a woman every time I orgasm as much as I do as a man, and often more as a woman than I do as a man. He also teaches that people with disabilities are being punished for bad behavior in a previous life. All autistic people are incarnate of former authority abuse and powerful abuse over others, as are Down syndrome, as are spastic or any other disabled child. If he tries one of his healing modalities and it doesn't work, the fault is not his, the fault is the person who doesn't receive it or believe it. And if people follow what he suggests and what he teaches, he will be able to address all the issues of hunger, violence, mendacity, all of the evil behaviour of human beings will disappear. Followers of universal medicine are told that eating and drinking certain things allows evil spirits to invade the body. Alcohol, dairy, coffee, even carrots and potatoes are off limits. People in the, in the future will understand that we may not be needing three meals a day and they'll be understanding that there are some foods that are not designed to be eaten. He'll say things like, can anybody who eats dairy products or chocolate really love you? And he said, carrots are as bad as heroin. But there is a way to fight back against the evil spirits. Intimate, hands-on treatment, ideally performed by Serge himself. Anecdotally, we have the proof that many people have improved their health exponentially through the modalities that we're using. Serge has been in and out of controversy for 20 years. The whole thing is just based on stuff that's made up that um, Serge apparently got impressed upon him when he was sitting on the toilet. Just gave myself a time to sit and, and, I, and, and feel that moment, and I could feel something really, really beautiful. In the 1990s, Serge is a humble tennis coach in Australia until he has an epiphany one day telling him to go forth and heal the world. And from there, he started his healing business, Universal Medicine. To a certain type of spiritual seeker, Serge is magnetic, and his healing classes are an immediate success. Within five years, he's opening his own wellness center in the city of Lismore and treating people with serious problems. For Serge, it's all about control and power. 
And that's when all organisations go bad, is when they try and capture a person and refuse to allow them to examine the nature of what it is that they believe.